Good morning. Hi, I'm Columbia Daily Tribune City Editor Matt Sanders. With me is food editor Karen Worley. Uh, we are pursuing some breaking news this morning about Delta Upsilon Fraternity. The uh, National Fraternity Office has suspended the local branch for at least two years for repeated violations of fraternity policy. Uh, they had some parties this year where uh, they did some things that were against policy. No specifics yet on that, but we're trying to find out a little more. Uh, look for that on our website very soon and, of course, later today in print. Something else that's developing this morning is Governor-elect Eric Greitens will have a news conference about his wife being robbed at gunpoint, so uh, look for the latest on that later today online and in print, too. But uh, outside of the news, Karen has some interesting stuff in the food section today, especially for, uh, of course, cooking aficionados. Good morning. Today's topic is cooking and baking in cast iron skillets. Uh, we met up with a young man, Seth DeBello, who was teaching a class at the uh, Career Center uh, about a month ago, and he paced the class through some really interesting recipes using cast iron skillets, and also in today's feature, he'll show you and tell you how to care for your cast iron skillet. There will be a video online where he does a step-by-step -step approach. My mom used to make uh, white beans in cast iron skillets and also Swiss steak. And I'm not a big fan of the beans, but I love the Swiss steak. So. <laughs> um, some other stuff that we had this morning, uh, Roger McKinney is working on a story about a couple of uh, Boone County school districts. They're looking to put operating levy increases on their uh, ballots coming up. Of course, Columbia Public Schools just did that this past year, so we got some other schools following suit. Uh, and then we also have some uh, news from last night's city council meeting. Of course, on our website now, you can find a story about the council approving uh, fees for developers who close down streets and sidewalks and parking spots. Um, we're also working on a story about the defeat of an ordinance that would have uh, created regulations for pawn shops and secondhand stores. So look for all that later on our website and in print. You can reach us at Facebook, on Twitter, and via email.